followers, I'm Cole from GMP, and today we have Rich here, the owner and operator of AeroFab. We have our Mark 7 GTI shop car Pepe, and today we're going to be installing AeroFab's V2 Street Design Spoiler. So Rich, tell me about this spoiler and what makes it special from the other spoilers uh, in the market. Well, the first thing I'd want to touch on is it utilizes stock locations to go ahead and align this first try, uh, no guessing. So you're not clamping, you're not taping, you're not marking to make sure it's centered. It locks in, you put the hardware in, and then you go through the rest of the pre-existing holes uh, on the spoiler, on the splitter itself. Um, the next thing is going to be this arrow brace right here. Um, currently, the only one on the market that's going to offer basically a reinforcement that uh, mimics the inner skeleton of the front bumper bites down utilizing its structural integrity and allows it to basically spread load where needed so you're not going to be pulling directly down on a detachable splash pan. Um, so that's basically the biggest thing and that's you know to take account for higher speeds, even inclement weather. You know, you, you dip into a puddle that's you know unavoidable unavoidable on the highway, you dip into it, it's not going to rip out the splash pan and take the splitter with it. I mean this is one of our loader cars as well that we offer here at GMP. Uh, so we'll get a lot of abuse. And what's great about this product is that it is flexible. It's a lot of spoilers on the market. They're made out of carbon fiber or really hard ABS plastic. And when you hit a bump or you scrape a ledge coming into your driveway, exactly, it'll either rip off, crack it, take a chunk out, take a chunk out. I mean, just to show you how flexible this stuff is. I mean, that's me go flexing. Ahead. I can go more, but I'm not going. <laughs> so it's gonna it's gonna retain its shape. You know, if you do hit something, you're not gonna. It's not gonna look like a wavy strip of bacon on the front end. You might get, you know, some 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 chunks taken out if you're smashing into a rock 80 miles an hour. But it's gonna maintain that flat plane parallel to the ground shape. And from my post experience, uh, previous experience installing these splitters, a lot of splitters on the market today they don't use a complex mounting system like this. Uh, complex is a little rough word. Uh, innovative is more better. There you go. But basically, what it does is it gives you extra strength. I mean, you can't stand on the front of this thing, but uh, the, you said, what, 140 you're up into? Yeah, 140, and then this car, like you said, is actually going to be at, what, Charlotte Motor Speedway? Yep. We're taking um, it to Charlotte Motor Speedway this week, uh, so, so we'll get some cool uh, R&D testing on it. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take the front bumper off. We're going to show you how this mounts up and what's so special about the mounting on this, and then we're going to put it back on the car and show you the final product. So let's get going. All right, so we have this AeroFab V2 Street Splitter installed on our GTI. I thought the installation was pretty simple. Uh, Rich kind of showed me how it all goes together using the stock mounting points to kind of line it up, and then you bolt it all onto the bumper. Uh, looks really good. So tell me, Rich, how did you design this splitter to look? So I have we have two variants. Uh, Basically a variant one and a variant two. This is the two being uh, smaller and slimmer uh, without the support rod. So I basically wanted something that uh, accentuated the factory body lines of the, car, of the car, but didn't just trace them. Uh, kind of chiseled it up and pushed it more towards the front end to kind of slim the front end down. So if you take a look, you can see it, it mounts pretty much flush with the side, but as it comes back and loops around, it kind of juts out more towards the front, giving it a little more length. Um, and then over here we have the new uh, blacked out badges, our self edition badges, which is basically flush with the surface, matte black with a gloss black logo. And then uh, the real cool part that I explained before, uh, the arrow brace. I'm sure you all probably wonder, where does that mount? What does it look like? Let's go walk around and see the back side. So talk a little bit about the arrow brace. Okay, so as I mentioned before, the, the brace basically mimics the, the, the the inner skeleton of the front bumper um, and allows it to, to, to go ahead and spread the load. So imagine this brace not being here. You just have bolts with washers to this flimsy little splash pan right here, which actually clips into the bumper itself. When you put the brace on there, it allows it to, to spread the load, stiffen this up entirely, but also bite down on the frontal portion of the bumper, uh, which is the actual solid piece. Um, utilizing, like I said, its structural integrity to, to stiffen it all up as a whole. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Pretty simple, and uh, you know, but yet effective. I mean, I don't know. But I'm stoked to get this on the car. So Let's we're gonna it. put the car down. We're gonna put the bumper back on, and then we'll get the final shots of the bumper installed on the car and getting it sitting on the ground. All right. So we got the splitter on the car. I think. 
What I like about this splitter is that it keeps the OEM lines up the front bumper and it's really subtle, but it gives you that extra edge and aggressiveness that you want when you're installing an aftermarket front splitter. Um, one thing that I also noticed sooner they got on the car, I pushed some good weight. This is my body weight. That thing isn't going anywhere. Um, and I know you can't do that with a lot of aftermarket yeah. bumpers. That, that, I mean, between the material in combination with the brace, I mean, it really helps, you know, stouting this thing up. You're most likely going to pull the bumper off the car. You know, let's hope not, uh, but before the splitter detaches itself. And that's kind of what you're looking for in a, you know, a street-driven car, especially a loner. Yep, and a lot of these people that are installing these aftermarket splitters on these cars are slammed to the ground. Right. And I mean slammed maybe inch, inch and a half of down clearance. So you want confidence when you're going up the driveway that your whole splitter comes in. Exactly. But you know, sometimes people pay upwards of $500 for some of these splitters that they can take one thing and just rip it right off. Yep. So, we're pretty excited. We're going to go to Charlotte Motorsport Speedway this weekend with it. We're going to send it around the track. Yeah. It's going to be great. I'm excited. I'm pumped. But uh, again, thank you, Rich, from Aerofab. It was a pleasure. We're so excited with this partnership. We're going to see a lot more of these products coming out from GTI. Yes, and you will. these guys at GMP will have the product available um, on their website. And uh, they are now an authorized, not just dealer, but installer as well. So you can find them on the product page or the dealer map on my site, but if you want to go ahead and order from their site and have it delivered here or however you want to work it out, these are the guys to do it we in the Charlotte area. One stop shop. Yeah. But uh, we're really excited and uh, I think it turned out great. Uh, really excited for future projects with you guys. And uh, thank you for watching. Happy Tech Tuesday.